welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers the old subscribers and the new one if you are just passing through thank you so much for stopping by and please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel like my video and share my video today i'm going to be teaching you how to cut a simple gown it's simple but gorgeous yeah and classy also that's what i'm going to be teaching you which this gown can serve as a a church dress you can use it as a church dress you can use it for an office dress also yeah so that's what i'm going to be teaching it's going to be having a bow it's going to be a simple free gown not very free and not very tight it's going to be having a, a belt i'm going to be using this fabric for the dress this is two yards of fabric and then i have black here black fabric just to complement it I'm going to be using this black fabric for the neck tie. I'm going to be having a, a neck tie for it. A neck tie. You can tie it as a bow. You can just drop it. Something like a jab box. So, and I'm going to be using the black also for the sleeves. So, that's what I'm going to be teaching. It's really simple and easy. So, I'll just fold my fabric and then come back and show you how to fix in the measurements. Stop. Okay. I folded my fabric into four. In making a dress like this, a gown like this, in order for you to find out how to fold your fabric so you don't waste it, you use the biggest part of your measurement. And for this dress, the biggest part of my measurement is the hip part of the measurement, which is 44 inches. So you divide the biggest part of your measurement into four, and then you add a couple of allowance to read a couple of inches between three and five inches and for this the biggest part is 44 inches which is the hip and when you divide 44 into four you have 11 inches and this is 11 inches here so i added one to three inches that's just the remaining part of my fabric so i added three inches to it as my allowance like i said you can add between three and five inches as your allowance so you don't run into any problem so i've made out a couple some couple of lines for this dress the first line this is i'm going to be using it i left half an inch on top i'm going to be using this as my shoulder line that's what i'm going to be using to stitch the shoulder half an inch and then the first line i have here is the chest line and between the shoulder and the chest line is usually eight inches this is like standard measurement for normal size people so this is the chest line which is eight inches and then from the shoulder to the bust i have ten and a half inches i have ten and a half inches this is the bust point line this is the bust point and then between from the shoulder to the waist which is this part i have 19 inches for my waistline which is this point and then from my from the shoulder to the hip i have 29 inches this is the part which i'm going to be inserting my hip for beginners if you want to find out how to insert your hip the standard measurement is between 9 and 10 inches from your waist line from the waistline so you see my waistline here i have 19 inches and then i have 29 inches here so this midpoint which is 9 inches is where you insert your hip measurement if you don't get this right your hip might be up or it might be down so but when you use nine inches between nine and ten inches you will never get it wrong it works perfectly well and then the full length of my dress is that is 42 inches and then i added um, two and a half inches that's just the remaining part of the fabric as my allowance so i hope this is clear so now i'm going to be inserting the measurement the first measurement i'm going to be inserting for this dress i'm going to be putting the shoulder measurement and shoulder shoulder measurements is 14 inches when you divide 14 into two you have seven inches so this is this this is my seven inches and then i'll use you can use between one and one and a half inch as your allowance so i'll just use one inch as my allowance and then from the one inch allowance i'll be maintaining my chest line measurements for my armhole so i'll just take it like this and then bring it down 
like this if you have a curve you can use your curve and just mark like this and then for the bust measurement the bust measurement i'm using for this dress is 38 inches when you divide 38 into four you have nine and half that's 9.5 i'll just take my tape like this and then this is 9.5 here i'm gonna be adding three inches as my allowance because i don't want to run into problem most times i like adding excess allowance if i have the fabric so this is it so the next measurement i'm going to be measuring i'm going to be measuring like i told you i said this is not a dress that is very tight it's just a little bit free the next measurement i'm going to be using now is the waist line that's the down part of my waist and i'm Sorry. using the waistline measurement is 36 inches so and when you divide 36 into four you have nine inches so this is nine my nine inches and then i'll maintain my three inches allowance and for the back i made the back a little bit bigger than the front by one inch allowance you can see the back and it's divided into two because of the zipper part i forgot to say it initially for beginners i don't know so the back is divided into two this part i'm going to be using for the zipper at the back so that's for the back so i'll connect my line from this So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the hip measurement for this dress and like I said initially the hip is 44 when you divide 44 into 4 you have 11 inches this is my 11 inches and then I'll still maintain my 3 inches because I don't want to run into any problem so I just make a, a slant like this for the hip don't want it to be too sharp don't want it to be sharp So the next thing is the down part of my my dress. The down part of my dress. I don't want the down like I said initially. I don't want it to be tight. It's not like it's a fitted pencil dress. No, it is not. So for the down part, I'm going to be using I'm just going to be using 13 and half inches, which is like the whole part of my remaining fabric. So I just re remark, re rule my if it was a pencil, if it was a pencil dress, I'll be reducing it. If it was, I'm just using this as an example for people. If you want to cut a pencil dress, if it was a pencil dress, I'll re I'll reduce the down part maybe like 11 inches, and then you find my cup. You find my curve coming like this. You find my curve coming like this. If it, if this was a pencil dress, this is how it would end up to be. If it was a pencil dress, you find it. It will be like this. But since, like I said, it is not a pencil dress, so I'm not gonna be bringing it here. I'm gonna be taking it down. The down is going to be free. So it's going to be like this. So that is that for the dress. So I'll just cut it out and then cut out the neck. So now I'm going to be inserting the neck measurement. The neck, I'm actually going to be making it high. Like I told you, I said I'm going to be putting it a bow. That's what I'm going to be using for the neck. It's going to have it a long tie. I'll be dropping it. So... To, to do such colors, I'm going to be using 3 inches. You can use between 2.5 and, and 3 inches. So, I think I'll, I'll just go with 3 inches. And then the depth. The depth. I'm going to be making use of um, another 3 inches depth for it. That's for the front neck. That's for the front neck. And then for the back neck, the back neck is going to be high. It's going to be one inch. 
so this is my one inch here and then I'll just maintain this line to get so this is the front and then I'm going to be doing my shoulder slant so I'm using one inch for my shoulder slant so I'll just slant it from this point to the neck point so this is it so when I finish coupling I'll come back I'll, I'll take it now to my machine I'm going to be doing my regular dart I'll be inserting my regular waist dart which is going to be running from here to this point I'll just take the middle point here and then I'll use four and a half yeah I'll use four and a half inch as my as my dart I'll do my regular waist dart that's what I'm going to be using for this dress you can decide not to do a dart on it like if you want it fitted you can do a dart but if you don't want it fitted you can still leave it that way so me i'm going to be doing a dart just a little dart it's not going to be just like half an inch hold on both sides just tiny that's what i'm going to be doing so what i'm going to be doing now this is my dress so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to take it and then couple the back and the front after coupling i'll bring it back and cut the neck bow for you to see and then show you how to fix and attach it so I'll, I'll, you have to sew it first before you, you for you to get the accurate measurement of what you want so i'll come back and do that hello welcome back guys you can see what i did to the dress now i finished coupling the shoulder part and uh, i made a little change here on the neck i opened up the those front parts before i'm going to be putting the bow so i just opened it up a bit by a little some inches yeah i did four inches so i just opened it up so i'm going to be putting my bow now like i said initially i'll put it now so i'll show you how to cut it i'm just going to be cutting it's not like is uh any style bow it's just like a straight piece like i told you initially i said it's like a jar jar bot so i'll just fold i'll be using my black fabric so i'll use the entire length this entire length i actually do not want it to be too long since it's something that is going to be coming down so I'm not using the actual measurement of the neck. So I'll just fold like this. I'll fold my fabrics into two. I don't want it to be too fat. So I don't want the width to be too much. So I'll just measure what I have here. I'm folding the fabric into two. So what I have here is three inches. I think the three inches is okay. That's folded into two. That's six inches. So six inches is good for me. So at the end of the day, after sewing, it will come to like 5 inches. So I'll just cut it out. So I'm using the straight strap, like I said. So this is what I have here. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be... I'll just take it out and then... I'll run a stitch down the line. I'm not going to be turning it. I run a stitch down the line then fixing it I'll just make a notch here at the middle like this this is the middle this is the mid point I'll make a notch here and then I'll bring it like this and then come to the mid point of the back that's the back neck and then I'll start fixing from this middle point where I made this notch. I'll just start fixing. I'll just place it like so and then fix it around. I'll just fix it around. I'll fix it like this. I'll just fix it like this. And then when I get to those points, 
I'll just top stitch it and then I'll just top stitch it and then I'll leave my the remaining strap here. I'll top stitch it and leave the remaining strap. The essence of this uh, line that I put this like is this is like a keyhole that I did is for the neck to be able to fit into it perfectly well. So that's just the essence. Then I'll take this from this other part also. I'll just continue like this. I'll continue. And then when I get to this point, close to the keyhole, I'll just top also. So by the time I put on the dress, I'll just make a strap of this. I'll just knot it and then turn to a jar bot or however you want to choose to do your own. So this is for this. So the next thing I'm going to be cutting now, I'll cut the sleeves. I'll cut the sleeve and I'm going to be cutting uh, a simple sleeve. Just like a simple bishop sleeve, that's what I will be cutting. So I'll just fold my remaining fabric like this into two. And then fold like so. I don't want to waste my fabric. And I want my sleeve, I want it to be a little bit big. So this is it. It's folded into four now. So I'll take the length of my sleeve. I use the entire length. This is 18 inches. I use the 18 inches. I'm just gonna be doing a free hand on. So I'll measure the cut from this side. I use, you can use between five and six inches so i'll use each i'll use six inches since i don't want it to be too puffy so i use six inches so i'm just going to just gonna do this why i'm not measuring the circumference is I'm gonna be plating it a bit so I don't need to make it exact the exact armhole I don't need to make it exactly so I'll just do it go along with the measurement that I have on my fabric so this is 16 so I'll stop there and then the next thing I'm gonna be doing the down part of the sleeve I'm gonna be adding I'll add like a, a little elastic to it I'll add like little elastic to it so I'll just go along with 10 I don't want it to be too puffy I'll just go with 10 inches like this so I'll just cut it out so I'll use, I'll use elastic for this part this down part I'll just use elastic little elastic and then I'll just do little pleats on it to fit into my armhole which I'm going to be using 9 inches at the time I trim it. So I'll cut it off. So I'll take it back and finish everything up and then come back and show you the completed dress so i have now come to the end of this video if you find this illustration helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit on the notification bell thank you so much for watching and bye god bless you